Roblox hackers. Today I'm going to give you a script that protects you on so many different levels. So if you ever use the script, um, people who make it, they can get your IP address, they can get your username, they can get your place ID you're playing, they can get so much information about you, and they can send this over the internet to themselves. So if you ever use the load string to load a script, you're sending and receiving information from a website to get that data, to get the script. And if you've ever seen a script that has Discord webhooks for notifications, how is it sending that information to Discord that you received an item in the game? So people who make these scripts can send information back and forth, but luckily you can watch it and stop it. And that's with a script called HTTP Spy, which lets you see it. And it's an enhanced version by Heroic Sanchal. Um, it's going to actually block a lot of the requests. So um, I think, yeah, so this is the code. It's open source, so if you go to this load string, just paste this in your browser, you're going to see what it is actually running. And um, if you see, it's going to be blocking a whole bunch of services from being able to access from access your Roblox script. It's going to block stuff like Grabify, stuff that's going to be trying to steal your IP address. Um, and it's also going to block sending player name, place ID, executor, job ID, and user ID. That way that information can't be sent to the script developer and they can't spy on you. Okay, so let's now showcase what this script is going to do. So I have this right here. This is going to be a script for Anomic. It's going to be my next video. And let's get this executed. You can see the first thing it's going to be doing is requesting what we got here. And then the load string there is going to be loading a whole bunch of different files. So even if this is obfuscated, they can have load strings within a load string to hide what the code is doing. So you might think you're loading just one thing, but if you look at these URLs, even though this is obfuscated, you have to send the URL to get to actually load the stuff. So you can see where they're hosting the code and everything. And it's it's really cool. Um, just the amount of information you can get from using this. But I can see every everything the script's done. And if you look, absolutely nothing has been blocked. This, uh, this developer is not trying to uh, take over your Windows computer or Linux, I guess, if you're using some way of running Roblox there. Um, they are just loading the code and everything is good. So this is a good script. Now, what if we tried to use something else? So I have this one right here. And um, if you look here, Grabify, I, this is just a random Grabify link. It actually doesn't load anything. There's no script. I think it's just a random website. But when I execute this, you're going to see that the script, the game is actually going to crash. And why this is happening is because it's getting an error in the Roblox code because it's not allowing it to run. So this is when this happens, it's just going to flat out crash the game. At least it should. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it says it's been blocked. But if it can't block it and keep the game going, it's just going to crash the game to make sure that none of your data gets sent. So it's a bit extreme, but it makes sure that your privacy and security is always put as the first priority. So let's see if this crashes the game. Yeah, it does. So the game's crashed now. Um, everything stopped. This it's it sh normally should say uh, attempted request blocked. Yes, um, or something along those lines. But it, just so you know, the script isn't the ga the script isn't broken. What it's doing is it's halting the process. That way, none of your data can leak to Grabify. Because what I could be sending here is I could be sending your Roblox username, your IP address, um, you know, your the place ID that you're playing on. If someone was um, making, let's say an owner made a script for a game and they want to make like block, um, blocks, Bloxburg. Yeah. So let's say they make their own script for their own game so they can build a database on everyone who's hacking and like, it'd be the ultimate way for them to ban people for hacking. Um, this is just going to protect you from stuff like that. Maybe it's just some guy who's got a script and he wants to try and you know, make a database of people's IPs and like blackmail them or DDoS them or something. So this is a good way to protect yourself. And if you see a script that is trying to take this information and it's causing it to crash, go tell the, descri uh, the script developer to, you know, take his code and, you know, fix it. Don't don't be spying on users. Then you can expose him and say, this guy's spying on people. He He's collecting information that he shouldn't be collecting. So use this as a tool to audit the script you're doing the scripts you're using and make sure people in the community aren't trying to you know cheat you or spy on you okay so i hope you guys enjoy make sure privacy is number one um you know use a vpn which is always important to have one on 24 7 and you know if you gotta buy stuff use monero it's a private crypto peace